Hello, I'm Rusty Scrooby and welcome to my studio and home here in Dallas, Texas. And we're coming in through my garden. I'll see if I can walk and videotape at the same time. I'm not really used to this, but uh, And here we are in the entryway. It's a little small, so it's hard to get a, back enough to get perspective, but off to the left is the, my home, and you can kind of see in there bookshelves and our sitting area, but my husband is in there working at home these days, so I'm gonna leave him alone. And uh, I've got a, a couple photographic pieces, or a few photographic pieces, here in the entry. This is a piece I just worked on uh, recently for Texas A&M University where I went to school. And it's photo printed on aluminum and then folded into 3D forms. And it's actually sections of a wave that repeat and progress. And it, the original is part of a 40 foot wall. This is just the uh, artist proof. So I had this to proof to prove my concept but um, this is actually part of a, a lot larger commission and for a while I've been working on photographic work with photo paper and I will cut and weave it and it it actually comes from my love of knitting um, so I, I there's some texture here and some smoother area and I think of that as knit and pearl and uh, the pearl kind of blends the adjacent colors and plays with the abstraction a little bit. But uh, as I'm working on it, I feel like I'm making a piece of paper fabric. And uh, here's another piece based on some irises in a garden. And so, entering my studio proper, you will be hit by the clutter, <laughs> the mess. Uh, it is packed full of years worth of art projects and ideas. And lately my coronavirus supplies of, for dealing with the world, gloves and masks. And uh, But here is, if you can look past the piles everywhere, it's actually kind of a large studio. I have my flat file room in here that's been taken over with storage. I have some photographic work from a little bit earlier uh, based on individual, a single photo, but then printed hundreds, if not thousands of times and woven together to create this repeating undulating surface. And as we come back out, I usually work at a desk over here in the corner that's it's a little bit hard to get back to right now. But uh, that's kind of my nest back there next to this uh, bigger woodworking area that I try to keep open so that I actually have space to get woodworking projects done and uh, put things together and blank areas on the wall to photograph, always important. This is a, a wood structure I'm putting together right now. It's actually in sections. And uh, once I have it all anchored together, I'm working on knitting that's going to cover each of these, that's going to cover each of these tripod shapes. And uh, so the front of the piece here, looking straight down on it, the front of the piece is overhead and it will have a knit image covering the surface when I'm done. Um, besides woodworking, I'm also working on painting, painting on paper. And let me see if I can get an overhead view here. It's actually, a, the image that's painted on here is a vintage Japanese fabric. I, I rely a lot on fabrics and knitting technique. Um, 
blended with these structures, it almost feels like a masculine feminine pairing. I, I tend to like to put together things that oppose each other naturally. And so that's a little glimpse of what I'm working on lately. I'll see if I can put a couple th other things out on the table and give you a little more explanation. Here I have a little work in progress. It, actually, this is a swatch I made that became my image for a, another piece, which I don't have here in the studio, but I'll attach a picture of that one. Here's some uh, an early piece, uh, early from a few months ago. The, this knitting technique is, is new to me, not knitting itself, but uh, forming this pattern and, and combining it with this structure. Uh, so I'm working at adding imagery, and that's what that red line is. I'm adding lines over this to start creating an image. This one, the, the image is coming into tact. These are actually not anchored yet. These are placed here just so I could give you a little preview. But uh, a, a lot of this knitwork is going into a show that I'm doing at Turner Carroll in Santa Fe later this year in November. Uh, so that gives you a little preview of what's going on in my studio.